material requirements planning is basically concerned with the inventory of raw materials and components which are required to produce the products in a facility. The demand for raw materials and components is termed as secondary demand which is essentially depending upon the demand for the finished products. At current, globalization of the economy and the liberalization of the trade markets have created new conditions in the marketplace which are characterized by turbulence and intensive competition in the business environment. Competition is continuously growing with respect to price, quality and selection, service and promptness of delivery. Removal of barriers, international cooperation, technological innovations naturally cause competition to intensify. In terms of manufacturing emphasis is placed on reducing cost while improving quality. In addition, other factors such as timely delivery of the product become critical techniques. This is captured by emphasis in just-in-time or JIT-in-short. It is a time-phased priority planning technique that estimates material requirements and schedules supply to meet demand across all products and parts in one or more plants. MRP techniques are used to explode bills of material to compute net material requirements and plan future production. Information technology plays a major role in designing and implementing material requirements planning systems and processes as it provides information about manufacturing needs, linked with customer demand, as well as information about inventory levels. MRP techniques focus on optimizing inventory. Material requirements planning systems mainly use following information to determine what material should be ordered and when. The master production schedule, which describes when each product is scheduled to be manufactured. The bill of materials, which lists exactly the parts or materials required to make each product. Production cycle times and material needs at each stage of the production cycle time. And for supplier lead times. In this figure, you can see the overall view of the inputs to a standard material requirements system and the various reports generated by the system which are of immense importance for the production managers. The master schedule and bill of materials indicate what materials should be ordered. The master schedule, production cycle times and supplier lead times then jointly determine when orders need to be placed. The master production schedule includes quantities of products to be produced at a given time period. Quantities are included both at aggregate and detailed levels. Aggregate may refer to monthly production and detailed may refer to weekly or daily production. The master production schedule is a tabular form in which rows represent products and columns represent time components. Bill of materials gives information about the product structure, that is, parts and raw material units necessary to manufacture one unit of the product of interest. Material requirements planning was pioneered in the 1970s with the work of Oleki. Later evolved or became part of Integrated to Manufacturing Resource Planning Systems, or MRP2. MRP2 is a computer-based planning and scheduling system designed to improve management's control of manufacturing and its support functions.